Okay, so in a graph, there are vertices. So this is a vertex, it's just a point. Vertex, vertex, vertex. An edge connects two vertices, so this is an edge. Um, and vertices connected by an edge are said to be adjacent. So these two vertices are adjacent. A face is an area contained like this. Um, this larger area outside is also a face. So if we have like this, this is a face here, this is a face, this is a face outside as well. Now, um, if we want to count the number of uh, edges, vertices, and faces, it's pretty easy for edges and vertices because when the user uh, is inputting them, uh, we can just count them. So, yeah, it's pretty simple for those. It's hard to count the number of faces because um, the user isn't exactly inputting them. Uh, we're going to have to figure out a way to count them. Fortunately, there's something called Euler's formula, um, not to be confused with any of Euler's other million things. Euler's formula for graphs like this says that vertices, the number of vertices plus the number of faces minus the number of edges equals 2. Uh, you can solve that for faces, just rearrange it. It's like 2 plus edges minus vertices equals the number of faces. And as you can see, that holds true for this. So 2 plus... 5 minus 4 equals 3, which works. Um, so you say, okay, well, we can just use Euler's formula with given the number of edges and vertices, find the number of faces. And that works for connected graphs. Uh, the issue is what if they put in a graph that's not connected? So right now, um, this is no longer a connected graph because what a, in a connected graph, you can get from any point to any other point uh, just following the edges. So going from adjacent point to adjacent point. So you can get from any of, like, for example, you can get to this point from any of these points, but you can't get to here from here because there's no edge connecting this group of points to this group of points. So this, this graph is no longer connected. And Euler's formula no longer um, seems to apply because we say, okay, well, um, vertices, which is 7, plus edges, which is 7, I'm sorry, vertices, which is 7, minus edges, which is 7, plus faces, which is 3, should equal 2, but it equals 3. So this doesn't work anymore. Um, or rather, Euler's formula seems to not work for this graph because it's not connected. So what do we do? Well, you can pause here, but um, one thing you can do is just Instead of considering this graph as one big not connected graph, you can just look at the individual connected graphs and look at their faces. So even if you have, you know, a, a graph that isn't connected as a whole, you can say, okay, well, I can just uh, I can just split this graph into three connected graphs. So this this graph has three faces. Remember the big one. This graph is two faces with the big one, this graph is one face with the big one. But we don't want to count the big one multiple times, because um, they like share it, and so we don't want to repeat it for uh, more than one. So really it's just one, one, and then two, so four faces. And so we can do that, but we need a way for the computer to um, count the number of connected graphs, basically, because once we have the number of connected graphs, um, we can use Euler's formula and uh, find the number of faces. Uh, so the computer needs to be able to say, okay, there are three connected graphs in this picture. So this is, this is you, can, you can pause and try and figure this out. Um, one way to do this, at least, is to say, all right, I have a list of all the dots. Uh, this this list has all the points, so every vertice is on the list of remaining dots. And so then we're going to have a counter that represents the number of connected graphs. And so we want a loop while there are still dots left on this list of all the vertices. And then what we're going to do is call traverse from the first vertice on the list. It doesn't matter which one that is, it could be any of them. Um, but yeah, the first dot, why not? Um, as long as obviously the list has multiple dots, or at least one dot, um, there will be a dot zero in the list. Um, and so then we're going to say traverse from that dot. So let's say traverse is called from here. 
um, what traverse does is it takes that dot off the list and then it calls traverse from each adjacent dot. And so what that's going to do is call traverse from here and here. And then once traverse is called from here, it'll call it from there. And obviously there as well. That one's going to be gone, so never mind. Um, the point is, um, traverse will go from dot to adjacent dot, and then from there to all the dots adjacent to that one, and so on and so forth, and by going from adjacent dot to adjacent dot uh, from each dot and removing all of those from the list of remaining dots, it'll remove all the dots in a connected graph from the list of dots left, but it will only remove the, the dots in the connected graph. It won't go from this dot to that dot, remember, because these aren't connected graphs, so that way it'll, let's say, remove all these dots from the list, then maybe it'll call traverse from here, remove this dot, that dot, that dot from the list, and then it'll call um, traverse again. So each time, again, obviously, it goes to a new connected graph. It goes back up to this while loop and adds one to the counter, but it doesn't stop because it recognizes there are still dots in the list, so there are still gra connected graphs out there to remove from the list of dots. And then it'll call it from here, the last one, get rid of that one, and yeah, then it know how many connected graphs. Now that we know how many connected graphs there are, we can just plug that into Euler's formula and print out the number of faces.